be sinful. And, and I have to say, I, uh, I wrestled with this text. I've been wrestling with this text all week because we're at the end of the sermon now. And I'd like to give some application to where I can show you how this text applies to you. I don't want to just give you a history lesson on what happened to Jesus. And I've talked a little bit about injustice and how we can suffer through that and so forth, and that's there. But I ended up doing something last night at 11 o'clock that I've, I've never done before for a ser sermon in 18 and a half years. I went online and I played a sermon of somebody on this text to see how they applied it. And I don't want to do that ever because I'm so, part of it's just that like, I, man, I don't want to know what anybody said because I know what God gives me is going to be better and I don't want to be influenced by that. And like, so there's this selfishness, this pride as it were, but I believe it's a commitment too that God does, you know, I, I trust in God's call in my life and stuff. But I just thought, you know what, I'm going to play RC as a whole series on Matthew. What I typically do is a couple of weeks later, I might play what he's played after I've already preached on it. So last night I played RC sermon. First time or ever before, you know, I preached that text. Now, some of the commentaries I read are just transcribed sermons. So, I mean, that, that, that ends up happening too. But it's different when you hear it. And you know what's funny? And I'm not kidding. About halfway through the sermon, R.C. said, you know, I've been wrestling with this text all night, all week. I woke up at 1 in the morning looking for an application. I'm not kidding. He said, I was up till 4 trying to find a way to apply this text. He, did, and he ends up giving an application, but I'm not going to give it because I disagree with him. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I think sometimes there are some texts that we just need to see Jesus, that we just need to see what he's doing. Because this isn't really about, you know, him being, ex he is an example. Sure, sure, we are to suffer even injustice, but right now, He's not doing this for that. He's doing this for us. He's suffering these things. He's suffering this shocking display of barbarism, of injustice, this travesty. He's doing it because we deserve it. And that's what we see in 67 and 68. Again, if there was any legitimate...